Planet Hoven. Two gold bolts. I can remember where one of them is. I cannot think where the other one is. It might be really easy, but I currently have no idea. That must be the ship that will transport the bomb. You think? Great work, detective. What's that cutscene actually necessary? <laughs> So, which route should I take first? I guess I'll take the optional route. Double tap the R1 button to activate hover, and hold the L2 to button to the Well, since I don't have the thruster pack on, <laughs> not really gonna help me that much. I mean, yeah, I could have it on, but I just, I don't, I don't prefer it personally. It's just, that's just my, I think, in something like this, I should go with what I enjoy. <laughs> And it isn't the Froster Pack, so... Oh, I didn't see that one. Bugger. I don't know how I didn't see that one. That's theoretically the one I should see first. Yeah, I got them all anyway. So, yeah, these switches aren't as bad as the other one, unsurprisingly. I think the, um... The Ramitanium, uh... Bringing the Ramitanium to the guy just reduces the cost of things on on the Gadgetron, which, I mean, is irrelevant to me, but at the same time, let's try this again, I don't know what went wrong here, yeah, it reduces the cost of things on Gadgetron, uh, which is helpful to most, but not me, um, but yeah, I just, I'm getting it anyway, because I can, I want this to be, oh balls, uh, I want this to be what it is. Wrench only, but I want to show that you can do everything with only the wrench. With the exception of a few things, like obviously skill points. Um, and just like a few... A few challenges here and there. I think these are instant kill. If I'm not mistaken, so time it right. Um, but yeah, I just it, just... it makes it more interesting as well, you know. Like I'm not just doing the standard route and doing everything. I'm so dead. Oh my god, I'm not. I have no idea how close that was, uh, apart from very. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is actually the end of the segment in that uh, house door place over there. You know, house door place. Yeah, that flawless. <laughs> you know, the, the house door place. Y you don't know it? Oh, it's that place over there. I like that the explosion actually moves you back. That's really... I've never noticed that. That is a stunning attention to detail because I'm on the ice. That's so cool. That's actually super cool. Uh, right. Okay, just don't screw this up. It's the section that should be easy because it's no different than... With weapons. Cool. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is there a problem, sir? Y'all wouldn't have any spare parts, would you? Help yourself. These dang rocks are too tough. I keep breaking my drill. That rock is Raritanium. Let me look at that drill. Well, shoot my dog and call me Sally. Thanks, partner. No problem. I suppose I could take that rock off your hands, too. Heck, here you go. Cool, there we go. Nice. Now... Is there a gold bolt around here? Before I leave, I feel like there's... Like an, uh, like an extra section that you can fall down to. I might be wrong about that. It's interesting though, if you come here later when uh, Ratchet and Clank are friends again, then that cutscene technically makes no sense. Because it's not said with humour. It's said to just insult Clank. But... Oh, no, actually, scratch that. I know exactly where the other gold bolt is. It's not around here. I know exactly where it is. I remember now. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Uh, well, that's that area done. There are two more routes to go and one, like, small, like hit behind those trees, and then that's the world done. But the world is certainly not easy, so uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. But I do like this world. It's it's cool. I'm I'm guessing this uh, this world is back, because um, uh, 
like the um like everything else in the game is so <laughs> I'm assuming it is or in in the remake obviously the PS4 version I'm assuming this this world will be back which is good because I like this world a lot it's a, it's a fun world I hope that the plot for the most part stays similar because I do like it so I may as well get a skill point while I'm at it. So if I take out all the enemies that seem to be never ending and spawning and blah blah blah, blah um, then you get a skill point, and I'm gonna die probably when I get it because I don't have a weapon. Um, it's surprisingly difficult as it turns out. There we go. Come on. How many more are there? It also makes getting the gold bolt much easier to be fair. But hey, there you go, skill point. You don't get many of those, do you? I'm trying to think, how many skill points can you actually get without weapons? It's not many. And there are a few which I really just cannot be bothered with getting, but yeah, there aren't many. So yeah, this is how you get it. You uh, do this. I think this is quite uh, uh, yeah, I think this is quite a clever skill point. Uh, gold ball, sorry. Um, I mean, challenging, sure, but I, I like it. Oh balls, oh balls. Okay, that didn't go well. Okay, we won't do that. We'll just jump off here, like usual, I guess. Okay, this is really difficult, and I can't work out what I'm doing wrong. Got ya, there we go. This health will not help me. I'm contemplating just ending it, because... Oh, no, actually, I've got a little more than I thought I had. Okay, I thought I only had three with that. Never mind, okay, I was gonna say I may as well just kill myself and get my health back, but nah, I'll give it a go, why not? It's not that low. I do like this. Like that I think that was one of like the earliest shots you see in like trailers and stuff. And I just I love that. No enemies appearing from behind the crates that you're so familiar with. It's just such a simple idea, but actually it's really effective. Now I cannot recall which of these routes is harder, so I may as well go this way. One of them leads to the Hydro Pack, one of the other leads to the way to get the uh, the route of the next planet, so I guess it makes no difference which I go down, because both are needed. I mean, it makes a difference anyway, I'm going down all the paths, so it really makes no difference. I don't think there are many, if this is, yeah, this is the Hydro Pack route, okay, good. So I was going to say, I don't have much health, but there aren't any enemies, to my knowledge. Oh, actually, no, there may be a few. But, for the most part. So, question is, am I able to get everything in this run? I feel like you have to come back here with the... No, you, no, surely you can't. I was going to say, I feel like you have to come back here with the Hydro Pack, but actually that can't be true. That definitely can't be true. I don't see why you need to. I think it's just faster. So, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, the gold bolt is in here. The second gold bolt is here. Um, it's actually quite clever. I like it. Uh, but I, it, I had forgotten about it completely. So, it is easy to miss. So if you did miss it in your first playthrough, I wouldn't feel bad about that at all. Oh, that's where it needs to go. So where is... Ah, oh, it's in there. I wonder if... Is it in this cave or is it the next cave? It's in this cave. See up there. Yeah, it's clever. You can't get it from in this room. Um, to my knowledge, at least. I mean, I'll give it a go. No, you definitely can't. Uh, unless I can glitch on top of that and that. Uh, well, maybe you can, but I can't be bothered. I'll just do it the way you're supposed to do it, uh, which is flood the area a bit more, and the water will be higher, and uh, therefore you can just get it up there, simply. Which is a really cool idea. I just, again, it's, it's clever. It's... That's, that's the thing, that that's the thing I like about Ratchet and Clank games, they, oh no, it needs to be higher than this. Um, Ratchet and Clank games just inherently are very clever. They have a lot of interesting gimmicks which just, like, sometimes, sometimes really big and impactful, other times just small but brilliant. And it's always very, just, just unique, I think is the right word. Just, it's... It is, I, ah, oh, I love this series, I really do. I'd actually be def, I'd definitely be up for trying another game with Wrench only. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's difficult, sure, but it is a lot of fun. There are some games where I'm just like, how would you even, like, do certain parts of the game? 
Kraken Time is one of them. Like, there's one room I can think of near the end of the game. And basically, like, it's non to escape you need to kill a bunch of enemies. And I don't think there are any turrets. And these enemies are certainly not easy. But I'm just like, I, I, in my mind, I'm just thinking, how could you possibly do that with only the wrench? I guess luck, lots of it, I don't know. I think you get a checkpoint here, so if I do die, that's not too bad. I don't know why they actually give you a checkpoint, because this area isn't particularly difficult, but I think they do, so I'll take it. But I will get any, I will search for any help for there. Apparently is around here, because I need it. I thought there was going to be an enemy in here, to be honest. I'm pretty sure there are enemies around here. If there aren't, then fair enough, but I'm sure there are. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm fairly sure there are enemies. Because in there is the end of the area. There you go. <laughs> that caught me off guard, I'll be honest. Didn't see that coming. I was thinking of the other enemies. Yeah, these guys. This is exactly the kind of guys I was thinking of. That's why the little snow guys caught me off. I was just like, okay, there's gonna be the guys with the guns. Where are they? Nope. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, Christ, no. That's bad. There's like, I could just gun it, to be fair. I wouldn't have a problem. I'd be able to make it, no problem. Because the snow guys, I'm pretty sure, can't kill me instantly. There's also no health around. Screw it. Gun it. Nailed it. Hey buddy, what's shaking? Oh my goodness. Aren't you just a little angel? <laughs> Actually, um, I'm a little robot. <laughs> You're funny too. Yeah, looks on everything. You be nice. I think I got something special for you. How would you like a hydro pack upgrade? That would be quite helpful for swimming underwater. <laughs> Whatever. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> you look so handsome. Thank you, miss. Your craft personship is excellent. If you two are through... Jealous? You come back and see me any old time. Your hydro pack will automatically equip when you are swimming. The hydro pack lets you swim against currents. I hope she returns as well, actually, because she's a cool little character. There were just a few characters, a few side characters who were just awesome, but you never really see or hear from ever again. Don't die. <laughs> okay, that was close. Yeah, I just want to take out everything here just to prove I would be would have been fine. Because I'm pretty sure I would have been. And then I automatically hey pack off the clip. Okay, there really isn't that many enemies here. Uh, well, that was an interesting glitch. Um. <laughs> Yeah, there really aren't many. <laughs> Did you see that? I got stuck on the little black one. Um, yeah, I. Uh, there really aren't that many enemies here. This route is much easier than I remember, which is good. Um, will I get through this route, the actual route, the hard route, the route that is most certainly going to kill me because of this? These little balls of doom are harder than they look to kill. Oh god, do I have to kill them? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, at least I'm here, which is significantly closer. I can't complain about that. That is... Oh, I genuinely didn't realise I had to kill the helicopter. That's very bad. That's very, very bad. Because that platform doesn't lower until it's dead. Hmm. So, the question is... How easy are you going to be to kill? How many hits do you take? Uh, aim up. Okay. 
as it turns out, not that bad. Hit it. Too far away. Ah, oh, so close. Freaking God. Hit it. Why? What is your deal? Oh, wow. You are just too far away. Oh, boy. This can be really difficult. Um, okay. Ah! I'm amazed I didn't get hit by that. I'm truly amazed I didn't get hit by that. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, fuck. That's really bad. How do I get to you? Can I get you from here? I mean, I died before I... Here we go. Yes, I can. So I have to wait until you're there, because I can't get you from here. You're too far high up, I think. What if I couldn't hit you? Like, imagine. I'd be screwed. So it's not that bad, it's just I have to be super, super dangerously close to the edge, and I can only do it once. It's you. What will it take to kill you, my friend? How many hits have I done? I don't know. Is it five? Something like that. Something close, at least. Okay, you are dead, and so nearly am I. Is there any health whatsoever? Oh, Jesus Lord. <laughs> well, okay. I'm alive. <laughs> Take that. You, I don't have to kill, right? Ah! No, I can just run away from you. Good, because right, that's what I'm going to do. There is no way I am fighting you. I think there are... Yeah, there's these. I going to say, I think there are balls of destiny. I'm in trouble. Okay. I think there are more enemies up here, but they've given me health. That was nice of them. They didn't have to do that. Uh-huh. Nope. 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 They're still chasing me? They are not. Okay. I will take that then. Okay. We are coming up to the end of the area, which is cool. This level certainly has not been easy, but it has not been bad either. As I said, I think just having more health inherently has made the... Well, okay. <laughs> that was crazy and scary. Yeah, having more health has inherently made the game somewhat easier. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> Ah! 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 <laughs> Holy shit! How am I alive? Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> I hope I don't die, because I'm right at the end. I know there's, like, something that can kill me. We are too late. The ship is leaving. Hang on! There's an old defense turret over there. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Yes, you. I think it's giving me a checkpoint, but I'd rather not risk it! Ah! Get me in! Jesus Christ, though. Wow. This level. I was so close to death. Something's shooting at me, besides the... Ah! Besides the turrets up there. I guess not. I'll just, I guess I'll just take out the turrets because they are doing damage to me. I think that's what's doing it. Yeah, it does seem that way.
I'm doing really poorly, but I'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint. So I'm not that fast. If I end up surviving, I will be amazed. Because I'm doing really badly. Oh, I'm just one to go. Yes! Men, you are about to embark on a very dangerous mission. We will be launching a heavily armed surprise attack from our new moon base against a completely unarmed planet. Actually, that doesn't sound too dangerous. <clears throat> Nevertheless, your orders are simple. Destroy anything that moves. Steal the power generators from Gorda City. Then, destroy anything that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have fun. We must get to the moon base and stop Drek. No, we have to get to the moon base to find Quark. If Drek is there, Quark is probably with him. But Drek is going to destroy that city. We must get to the base. That's what I said. No, that is what I said. Fine. Fine. I can't believe I'm not dead. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time, uh, we won't hear as many windows smashing, but we will uh, go and clear up everything we haven't done. So, I will see you then. Goodbye.